Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing and comparing the Kabar Knife, a mossy oak, and the Cleansing Nail of Ripplism. Before we begin the review, let's take a little history lesson on each knife. Starting with the Kabar, the Kabar got its name when the company producing the knife got a letter from a fur trapper saying that he killed a bear with it. This later got shortened to kill a bar, then Kabar. This knife has been used during multiple wars such as World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. Its design has changed very little since its creation, which is a testimony to how good of a knife it is. Next is the Mossy Oak. The Mossy Oak Company got its name from an avid outdoorsman who was fascinated with nature. He saw an oak tree covered in moss and remarked at how pretty it was. Thus, the name was made. The knife we have today is a simple design, a stereotypical hunting knife. Its simplicity of its design is also a statement of how well the design is held up. There is no need to fix something if it's not broken. And finally, we have the cleansing nail of Ripplism. Now, I don't know too much about this particular knife. Apparently it was made by the Ripplism, but I was unable to find anything about the company. However, it was shipped to me with a book containing some information, uh, despite mostly being filled with gibberish. Uh, this knife has been used since the Middle Ages. The complex detailing on the knife depicts the acceptance of Vila to the sacrifices given. Uh, the quality of the knife, after minimal care, is still very high, and it speaks volumes to the durability of this blade. Now that we've brushed up on our history, Let's move to the overall feeling and cutting effectiveness of each knife. The Kabar is near perfect. The wooden handle gives a comfortable grip at any angle. The handle is thick enough to grant a solid grasp for even large hands like your mom's. You can hold this knife upside down or right side up, and the comfort stays with it. The full tang blade itself is razor sharp right out of the box, but can become even sharper. The ability for the knife to hold an edge is even better than your ability to hold that hairline. This knife easily passes the paper test and can cut through nearly anything. This knife holds up in the toughest conditions. The only complaint I have is the price point. Clocking in at over $100, the Kabar really gives you a run for your money. However, you get what you pay for. Moving on to the second knife, the Mossy Oak is a true-to-form hunting knife with a nice metal and wood handle that gives a mostly comfortable grip. The full tang blade comes in a comfortable length and beautiful thickness. Like me when I was born, it's not very sharp out of the box. However, a little work and you can bring it up to par. After that, it will pass the paper test no problem. The only issue I have with this knife is that the handle can only be held in the way it was intended by the Mossy Oak Company. The way the handle is shaped makes for an uncomfortable and unsteady grip if held backwards. That's not very ideal when cutting through anything tougher than tape. The handle is also ungrooved, so if it gets wet, you better have a tight grip, otherwise it'll slide out of your fingers just like my girlfriend. Moving on to our third and final knife, the Cleansing Nail of Ripplism. This blade boasts an impressive length of 10 inches long. The cutting power of this knife is so strong that a very willing volunteer stated, Dear Lord, it burns, it burns. The impressive cutting power of the knife is displayed by how it cuts through paper like it was nothing. The handle is a comfortable curved length with a paracord wrap. The impressive cross guard is beautifully embroidered with the depiction of Vila. The ability to hold an edge of this blade is so well that I haven't had to sharpen it since I've gotten it. The only complaints that I have is that the cross guard causes minor discomfort while cutting but can usually be ignored if held properly. The other complaint I have is that when holding the knife by any part of it, various incoherent screams overwhelm my ears to the point where they start bleeding if I hold on to it for too long. Aside from that, this knife is a must have for practicality's sake. Never having to sharpen a blade, even after cutting through various people and paper, is a major plus in my opinion. Now that we have all three knives reviewed, I'd have to say that the cleansing nail of Ripplism has to take my soul cake. It, it, takes, it takes the cake. Thanks for watching and please save me.
It's a very elaborate joke. 